This fast track video key is going to show you how to make an individualized bookshelf in iBooks. Let's go find iBooks. It's free download from the App Store. And this is my bookshelf with, with an extensive number of books, as you can see. So, first, I want to uh, go to Collections top left hand corner and I'm going to make a new bookshelf and I'm going to name it Barb's Weekend Reading. Okay, so then I am going to tap outside and I think I will um, choose a couple of books. Maybe I'll read Life Science, Explain Everything app, and take a look at Winter in Nova Scotia. And then I'm going to tap Move and just select Barb's Weekend Reading and those books automatically go to that bookshelf. I can go back to Collections and look at all my books on my bookshelf. I can go to collections and just look at my purchase books. I can also, if I prefer, show as a list view, top right hand corner, right beside the edit button. I can uh, present my bookshelves and my collections in different ways. If I'm a more linear learner or organizer, or I can uh, simply display as a regular bookshelf. I'm also going to show you uh, the iBook store. In here, I've got on the top left hand corner, there's a button that says store. With the two beside it, what it's showing me there is I actually have two books that need updating. And um, they're obviously going to, um, they're telling me in uh, E.O. Wilson's Life on Earth, they're adding all sorts of updated information and original lessons and explanations bring biology to life for students. So I'm going to tap update and that's going to start downloading and my hands-on calculus. There it goes, it pops right into my demo books. And I can also move that later if I want to. At the time, same time I can go back to my library, sorry, flipping around, or just tap on books. In the middle of the uh, top middle there, it says books or updates, and I can um, f again go through and see all the books that I've purchased. I can also tap at the bottom of your screen it's showing top charts, and you can do searches for specific books. You can type in free books and see what free books or if you have a certain book in mind uh, that you want to search for and download onto your iBook bookshelf, this is where you would do it. So here's a list of all the free books available on the iBook store and I can also tap at the bottom and go to top authors if I wanted to. And that's how you organize a personalized bookshelf in iBooks. comes in very handy for teachers and for students organizing by subject.